Last year, Gladys started back to school for her master's degree in nursing at Western Governors, and I was teaching one of the courses she entered, and she called me with really common questions about being in school. During that conversation, I shared with her that oftentimes it's as much organizing your family and yourself and work as it is organizing the content of a curriculum and getting back into the flow of being in school. And Gladys laughed, a beautiful, hearty laugh. And she said, Brenda, just this morning, my son, my teenage son, couldn't decide which pair of shoes to wear. When I was 15, I didn't even own shoes. I knew at that point that Gladys's journey to nursing school was a lot different than mine. Gladys and her husband were born in Ghana, a country in West Africa, in a small village with a small hospital. They immigrated to the United States and entered medical school and nursing school with Gladys getting a BSN from NYU. And then they landed in Salt Lake. She and her husband decided to reach back to Ghana, to this small hospital, to that small village for a medical mission. I knew of this medical mission. This medical mission is huge in our community. I have friends who've gone on this mission. This mission's turned into a vital part of the University of Utah, a vital part of our family practice, epidemiology studies. Our students are, and volunteers, nurses, physicians, dentists, people are going back to Ghana and learning. I think as a role model, Gladys shows future nurses a great place to be, and that is to link back to what you know and where you can help. Gladys and her husband could have easily come over to the United States and been just entrenched in the culture of the United States, but no, Gladys and her husband instead focused on this medical mission and continued to focus on it, providing all of us an experience that is immeasurable.